everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm not sure what will make it into this vlog but I've been feeling really crafty lately and so I have a couple crafts and a couple sewing projects I want to go ahead and work on um, and so I thought I would all throw it into a vlog. Hopefully this gets all done in the next couple days um, and you can see all the crafts in this vlog. If not this will have a couple of other things in it. I'll be sure to let you know what's in this vlog um, but I got some t-shirt making stuff at Joann's and I'm going to go ahead and start there because I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just like iron on some letters onto a t-shirt. And then I have a pair of pants for Taylor that I need to tailor. And um, I'm going to try and get that done right now um, so that he can wear them to church tomorrow. It's actually Saturday and I just finished editing the vlog you guys are going to see um, on tomorrow, which is Sunday. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and do those pants now. Okay, so I have two options for his pants. I did get matching thread um, for this just in case. So I can just go ahead and sew it with my sewing machine. But I think I'm going to try a blind stitch first. So I just watched one video on how to do a blind stitch. And I'm going to watch one more on how to do a blind stitch. Um, and like I, I don't know if I've ever said this before. But I'm pretty new in my seamstress journey. I've sewn a lot of things. Um, but more just like crafty stuff I made up so as far as like really seamstressing things that is not correct as far as like really tailoring things I'm very new to that so I'm gonna watch one more video and then I'll tell you guys what I decide to do okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go with one of the blind stitch ways that I found I'll go ahead and link it down below so you guys can check it out I'll link the other one too um, but the one that I found is like We'll see if I can do it on his pants, but like it doesn't show anything. He said to do your pins this way, but I did my pins this way already. So anyways, I'm going to take my thread and I just tied it on one side so it'll be super thin. Um, but I'll fold this edge in and I'll go in through it and then out through it tiny and then diagonal over. So there we go. So here's the type of stitch I decided to go with. So you can see how teeny tiny bit I'm taking up of the fabric. You can take up even less than that. But then I'm doing bigger pieces you can see right here. So a bigger piece, small piece, bigger piece, small piece. Um, and I hope that'll work. We'll flip it inside out and see how it is. I didn't want to cut any off because I have this really nice, beautiful um, serge stitch. And I don't want to take that off because fraying and such. So anyways, we're going to see how that looks. Okay, so I'm done with this one. You can see like a stitch right there. So pretty good, I'd say. I'm going to do the other side and then we'll flip them inside out. Okay, so I finished the pants. They look so good. So here is like a done side. You legit can't even see the tacks. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see them. Um, right there, there in the middle, you can see that one. So a couple of them you can see, a couple you can't see. I just tried to grab like the smallest amount of threads, like just a couple threads. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. I'll have him try them on later, probably tomorrow. But um, I'm actually going to pull out my lettering for my shirt. And then I'm going to go to bed because I'm already staying up late to try and do this. So anyways. Hi everybody. We are crafting again and I'm so excited. It's been like a week or two since I did that other crafting. But we're going to go ahead and jump right back into it. I have a t-shirt I want to make. I tried to make the t-shirt once and it looked horrible so i'm gonna try and make that again today and then i'm most excited to show you this one project so let me go grab my stuff okay we're gonna be making reusable grocery bags out of these chicken feed bags um so my friend brought me two of these that were hers and i'm actually gonna go ahead and give one of them back to her and make her like a cute bag um, but i need to cut the tops and bottoms off and then we need to scrub them clean so i'm gonna start by cutting the bottoms off and the tops and then i will get my hose out and scrub them and spray them um yeah, that is what we're doing. Okay, so now that they're cut, I'm going to spray them off and then I might go get some soap and scrub them out, but we'll see how good spraying them off does. Now 
I just need to wait till they dry and one of the chickens just got out, so. Okay, so the first part here, I am just marking the straps to be able to cut those off. And you just cut them off of the top or the bottom, but just be mindful of your picture. I also have a video that I watched to make this that I will link below. Um, then I took and did six inches from the edge, both edges to mark where the straps would go. And then here I am sewing the straps closed. You just fold them into thirds and then sew them straight through the middle. And then I also sew the bottom of the bag closed in this part as well. Here I am sewing the straps onto the bag and I just folded the top over twice and sewed those straps on and then you fold the straps back over upward and sew one more time around just to kind of help it be sturdy and make sure those straps aren't going to fall off. This part was very hard because the bag was very stiff and very crinkly. It was quite loud. Okay, and here is the corner. So you just fold this corner in half and sew it like that. Okay, so here's the final product for one of the bags. This one I'm actually giving to my friend who gave me this um, uh, feed bag, but I have one that I'm making for myself, but it turned out so cute. Um, and hopefully my voiceover was okay on this. And I think what I would pay attention to next time is the direction of this to make sure I had my cute direction on the outside, but I think it still looks good. I was trying to flip it, but I forgot I was gonna fold it up. So anyways, there it is. It honestly looks so cute. So yay. Okay, so the next craft I'm working on is a t-shirt. I am just taking some letters from Joanne, some felty letters and ironing them onto a shirt, oh, but I wash and iron the shirt. So I lay those letters on the shirt and they're actually backwards. So I laid them on there correctly and I tested out my spacing because I actually made this shirt once before and it turned out really poorly. So test out the spacing for sure on this. And then we are also watching TV, which I'm sure you guys can see in the corner. I then had to make the letter O because they only gave me two O's and I needed another O. So I took a Q and I cut off all of the extras on the Q to make another O. And then I laid them on the shirt, measured from the shirt I was wearing at the time, laid them on there, made Taylor check it like 50 times, and then ironed them on. And here I am peeling them off, which was so satisfying. So there it is. All right, everybody, I'm actually editing this video now and I didn't do an outro. So here I am to say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let me know if you guys liked this craft video and we will do more of them. See you next time. Bye.